Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, King Epic. I hope everybody's doing great. Listen, I'm sorry again for not doing a stream. My PC has been freezing with using OBS lately. I don't know why. It's like OBS is the like the only thing that I use and it just tends to just break on me. It breaks on me. I have to delete OBS again and then reinstall it. It's a pain in the ass and honestly, it's getting annoying to the point where it's like, I don't know if it's my PC or if it's just OBS in general where it's like messing up like something in my settings and it keeps freezing. Um, anyways guys, so I'm going to be streaming tonight because I didn't work today. Uh, and I just wanted to work on this video for you guys because of the fact that, you know, I know it's uh, different apart from what I've been doing lately with uh, the class videos. But I've actually just wanted to talk. It was it, It's kind of, I guess, a mini podcast, but by myself. Um, because I guess nobody has, you know, I, I don't have anybody right now that could just ask me questions so i just want to say what's on my mind about uh star wars especially since the fact that i haven't played it in a little bit you know i played it uh the last time i streamed but ever since then i haven't played it um i've been finding something like i was talking to ryan yesterday and i was like you know i'm glad i'm not playing consistently because i love the game but it's it's really boring like even with the the update that just came out, uh, I think it was what like a couple days ago, like a week ago or something like that. You know, Ewok Hunt it's a great game mode, but is it something that we need? Not at all. You know, I appreciate the game mode in general. You guys know that, but the fact that you know there's so much more that they should have added with a month within a month, it's it's kind of like annoying at this point. Now I'm not expecting them to throw out maps like crazy or anything. I don't care if they wait. Uh, like every season to do a map or something I understand but it's the small content that does matter in my eyes I was telling Ryan yesterday I was like you know even if it, with the update that they that came out with um fixing the DC 15 LE and then they brought back best spin why can't they bring back more content from 2015 then it kind of baffles me the fact that you know they could do all this other work but then they can't bring back content that would actually just expand the game and make it last longer i wouldn't mind um you know just the hut contracts i wouldn't mind hut contracts being back that's that's something great that was in 2015 that you know it made you use your credits and stuff but it was just great and yes i'm glad we had gotten the customization but you know like i said in my other video we got it mainly for specialist and officer what happened to Assault? What happened to Heavy? You know, we got like a little bit of like out of the 40 skins or something, like 30 something were for um, were for officers and specialists. It's like, wow. And mind you, most of them were just common skins. You know, it wasn't nothing crazy. The only good skins that actually came out were for the heroes. But, you know, does, you know, the, you, you spend your credits on that. And mind you, they're all epic. So it's like 40,000 credits and... You know, you guys don't want to really spend money on that. Um, so, especially if you could just get it in, in, with free game money. So, you know, just something like that has just... It's been sparking me just to the fact that it's like... You know, you you should be able to even throw out those two-week updates. And just give us something. Something within those two-week updates. I don't think we can wait a month. Every single month. Just to get one little big thing and then just bug improvements in a way like we need new blasters in general i'm sorry but if season two comes out and it's the same thing like season one where we get two heroes um you know the new cards are basically only for them and um we get two heroes and like one or two maps or whatever and you know including a starfighter map and stuff then it's like, what is the point? We're going to be waiting every season for these little things where you could be bringing us blasters. You could be bringing us reinforcements. I don't understand why nobody's talking about it, but I've been annoyed since the beginning of the game, even with season two, I mean, season one and all the other updates after that. Why have we yet to got to, to just get a new light side reinforcement is is nobody annoyed to the fact that we still have a Wookiee warrior like literally a Wookiee warrior just running on every map like i swear if we get the han solo season and a Wookiee warrior is still like just running around on you know their new maps or whatever i'm be like what is the point what is the point like i'm not trying to rant i'm just 
I just want to, I want to, I want answers, you know, like, yes, you know, you could blame the progression system, whatever. It took them months to do the progression system. That doesn't mean, you know, you can't bring other things back. Just bring stuff back. Increase the level cap. You know, with, I'm not going to lie with the, the progression update, it felt great because I was able to level up my classes. I actually had something to level up. You know, I've been level 50 since December. It's, what is it? It's April. Oh, no, no. It's May now. It's like, that's a long time that you can't even give us a month update and be like, hey, we're raising the levels up by 10. Whoa, no freaking way. We're raising the level. They're raising the levels, guys. They're freaking raising the levels. We can level up. You know, I've been stuck with just literally racking up credits. Before, I was racking up crafting parts. I still haven't used my crafting parts and converted them to, um, you know, skill points because I'm waiting to see what we'll get out of season two. Now, you know, everybody does know, and I, I, yo, I, I don't want to place a bet on it, but I really think this is a season two hot and solo season. Obviously, May 25th, solo, solo, uh, the solo movie comes out. How could it, you know, just not be, um, a solo season? If it's a Clone Wars season, honestly, I will regret everything and I'll be like, okay, you guys just like blew my mind. How, like, what, like, I did not expect this at all, but I really doubt it. Um, regardless, it's just the fact that it's like, if it's like, what, like, what do we do at this point? You know, it's like, you guys can, can, ah, people can continuously, you know, play for credits, play to unlock the skins. Um, you know, I got the skins that I want. And I think the only reason why I would actually grind right now and get credits is because of the fact that I want to make sure when the clone skins come out that I'm able to buy the clone skins because I know those are the skins that I really want. Those are the skins I, like, I've wanted since the beginning of the game. I've wanted to play as the Wolfpack. I've wanted to play as the 501st. You know, every freaking Legion I've wanted to have and just play as. And, um... You know, I haven't gotten that opportunity yet, and I think a lot of people are mad about that. Um, and just to the fact that, you know, like, they, we still have four blasters per class. Four blasters per class, and, you know, the default blaster, which, you know, you guys know already, I, as the assault class, I love using the E11. I love using the A280C sometimes, and I also just love um, using the, what is it called? It's the blaster for the First Order, uh, the F11D. I love using that blaster. Like, if I could modify the default blasters, I would probably use them way more than I would use the blasters that we, you know, got from the beginning and unlocked through kills and stuff like that. If I could modify my default blasters, I would use them every freaking game because they're so good and they're so original and you know after you use these blasters that you've unlocked after a while that like don't you get you i f i feel like i get bored of it i have to consistently change my heavy blasters um you know with the officer class i like changing it up from the se 44c to the s uh to the s5 sometimes and even the default blasters like the rk3 sounds freaking amazing it sounds like a little um like paintball gun just shooting and it's it's awesome you know so, you know, why can't they just add something like that in the game that would just make more of a variety? And I feel like a lot of people would actually appreciate, you know, DICE doing what they do if they just focused on the little things. I, f I feel like they're just focusing on the big aspects, but it's taking months on end to get this content. Like, give us content to, like, stay tuned into the game. You know, honestly... You know, I'm not trying to make them like do like a Fortnite where they're updating the game every two weeks or whatever freaking way Fortnite updates their game. But, you know, to the fact that we can get small portions of, of just content is kind of annoying. Um, why haven't this, this is another question I feel like nobody's asked. Why haven't they added new cards to the classes? Why, like, you should be able to bring in new cards to change the aspect of the game. You know, it's like the meta. Like, why, like everybody kind of uses the same cards. Some cards are a bit different. You know, some people change uh, with their cards and stuff. But the meta never changes. The Assault class, you always see, you know, um, 
assault training, toughen up, and some other cards. I you know the iron grenade now and stuff. Uh, heavy, you always see the ion turret, um, uh, explosive sentry, and all those other stuff, and detonate charge. The you know the shield, and then officer. It's always battle. One of the battle commands. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, officer's presence sometimes, and also um, the turret and disruption. And then specialists, you know, that specialist varies a lot. That's, I think, that's the one class that actually varies a lot, guys. Specialists. Because specialists, you could change it up. You could use the Singer Pistol. You could use the Marksman, um, you could use the Marksman card. You could use the, uh, what is it, the Shield. There's a lot, the Infiltration cards, like, Marksman, specialist is one of the most diverse classes, in my opinion. You know, with other classes, I feel like it's generic. You use one of the cards for your left side, you use one of your cards for your right side, and then you, you try and get a card either as a passive card or one of your special uh, special cards. So, you know, it's it's kind of like, how are we going to, how how do they, ch how do we ever change the meta if we don't get any new cards? Like, I don't want to stick with the same cards until, you know, un for like a whole year, like, change you know i i know i understand i i should change it up but it's the cards that work best for me but if they just added new cards like a new explosive um you know a new way of you know changing your your gun mid fight or something like that like um i forgot what blaster used to do that in in 2015 that you know it would take up both of your your slots and stuff and then you know i would say that would be freaking awesome if they could bring that blaster back right and then have it where you just can't use any of the cards like a shield or a detonate charge but then you could use what is it all your passive cards i would use toughen i mean i was toughen up freaking survivalist um you know some uh defender some other cards you know bounty hunter that would be really cool and actually would change the aspect of the game but i feel like a lot of people don't think that way a lot of people just um you know they care about like the big things if people didn't care so much about the big things, like I care about, you know, the maps and, and, and Clone Wars. I really do. But if they could keep me interested to continue to, to play every single day, to continue to um, unlock things, to continue to use at least something new, I think the game will be in a better uh, stance than it is right now. I feel like a lot of people would approve of, of Battlefront and what DICE is doing than what they're doing with giving us you know ewok hunt it's a good it's a listen i'm not trying to badmouth ewok hunt at all but ewok hunt was it's not at the right moment it's it's really not like you know with ewok hunt if you would have swapped ewok hunt for uh six new blasters a couple cards and you know uh not, not six new, well maybe yeah yeah four yeah maybe maybe like four four new blasters one for each class and then you know an, a new reinforcement that's worth a damn update man i'm sorry but this update was disappointing i just don't want that season two comes out it's han solo and we get the same crap we got in december that's all i want to say it's like you know i hope everybody thinks the same way as me because of the fact that it's just like like come on already you know it like month month updates should not just give us these little things and then expect that to actually keep people you know into the game for another month that's the problem ewok hunt does not keep you in tune into the game for another month that's that's how i see it and you know with my life changing around and everything it's like i want star wars to be my main game on my channel but it's like they need to work and progress on the game Anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy me. Um, you know, I hope I wasn't ranting. I hope I was just telling you guys, you know, what you guys want to hear, what you guys like. If anything, down in the comment section below, please, you know, tell me what you guys want. Um, the small content, if you want the big content too. But have a great day, guys. I'll see you later.